fourth annual Man Trip 2020, we are headed up to the Boundary Waters. It's 4 a.m. in Duluth right now, but we're headed up to Ely right now. Yep. You cannot come through here. Okay. Oh, you can't. You gotta go around. You gotta come around. Okay. Appreciate Thank you guys. It. Have Thank fun. you very much. <laughs> We are off to see who is the Man Trip 2020 champion and wins the trophy and gets to decide next year's destination. There's portage. That's already gone. That's gonna work. Well, we're on the board. <laughs> How'd you catch that one? I just had the spinner bait. <laughs> just let it sit there. Just sitting. We were paddling. We were paddling. And he just hammered it. Gets an northern jump. We're okay. <laughs> Jeez. There he goes. Point the toe and kick off. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. I gotta get this. I don't know how we're gonna get through. We'll get through. Uh, when I can, when I can push, we'll be okay. fine. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All right, day one, man trip twenty twenty in the boundary waters. We went about 20 miles today, uh, one mile of which is portaging and four small ones. Matt is the leader right now with a 28 inch northern. Nick's out there still trying to catch the fish. Sam's already asleep and Matt and I are pretty much getting ready for bed. Um, we were kind of worried we weren't going to get a campsite today but we ended up getting one. So it's only like 8.45 right now and everyone's ready to go to bed. There's Nick. No. <laughs> You're going to keep fishing? now. Yeah, everyone's ready to go to bed right now, so uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow. The shrine. The shrine. <laughs> A little too windy here. Gotta backtrack. <laughs> little stressful. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Just pulling us along. This is awesome. Trying to get a camp spot for today, and we're kind of intruding on a few people. All laying eggs. Yeah, this one's just watching us. Hi, buddy. Day two, Boundary Waters Man Trip 2020. Uh, Matt is still the leader with his 28-inch northern yesterday so we didn't really get anything big today uh, we had some good fish on a stick at on the, the campfire here um, but we had to backtrack today so we ended up doing about 25 miles of traveling today you know we had to portage twice um, and one of them was really bad especially that first one but yeah so that was our second day um, and 
Yeah. Yeah, the second one, the second site now. You yeah. couldn't find that access point. Most likely, I don't know. It's a little bitty site. Yeah. It, USGS guy said that we look like experienced paddlers. Alright, day three in the Boundary Waters, Man Trip 2020. Matt still has the lead with his 28 inch northern. Still, haven't quite beat it yet. Nick caught a 26 today though, which was pretty nice. Um, no portages today, uh, only, what, 15 miles paddling-ish, so wasn't too bad. Just got to fish a lot today, so it was pretty good. even on this map right yeah, now. Yeah, we are right here. Oof, one more portage today. Big waterfalls. Day four in the Boundary Waters Man Trip 2020. Uh, Matt is still has the lead with that 28 inch northern. Um, so we had a long day of portaging and paddling today. Uh, it was like over 30 miles. Uh, so we did a lot today and we're all pretty tired right now. Sam's cleaning some fish over there and Nick and Matt are going out to fish a little bit more on these waterfalls back there. It's beautiful here at our campsite. So. 
We met this guy. Uh, he's staying here for 60 days straight. So whenever we go on these trips, we think we're kind of hardcore, but this guy's out in the Boundary Waters for 60 days. We nicknamed him the bear because he, he had a big beard, um, pretty bigger guy, and barefoot the entire time. So kind of a cool dude. Does he get it? Oh, now it's deep. I oh no. Saved. Hey, nice. <laughs> you got it. Thirty incher. Dang it. Trying Sorry, John. We may be going to Nipigon. That's fine. I'm okay with that. That's my second choice. So, got it? Yep, I got it. Oh, holy crap, Nick! Oh, there he goes. Wait. He's gone. Oh. Woo! Congrats. Oh, oh. Thing's huge. Oh, that's what's done. Looking down right here. Yep. Huge. Day five in the Boundary Waters, Man Trip 2020. Uh, there is a new leader. Nick caught a 38 inch northern today. It was a hog. It was super fun to even net it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we did 21 miles paddling, uh, no portages. So it was kind of a longer day. We went through some choppy water toward the end there to get to this kind of campsite on this rock. So we were just haggling for food, trying to trade. So so it's uh, the food cravings are, are definitely getting to us now. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's it for today. Heavy storms this afternoon, so we're getting going a little early uh, to kind of get all of our traveling and portaging out of the way before that comes. So, let's see. There you go. Sam's got a huge fish. Woo! Yeah. Oh, that's a hog. Oh, good walleye. Good haul today. Here, picture. Not oh, lose them off. Oh my gosh! 
Jeez. Just a monster. Biggest northern ever. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Good job netting it. Oh. <laughs> oh. No fish for you. All right, day six uh, in the boundary waters. Man trip 2020, no lead changes today, but Sam and I actually caught probably our biggest northern that we've ever caught today. We both caught 36 inches. We ate, what, 19 walleye, Sam? 19 walleye, <laughs> we caught and ate. 25 miles you went, Matt? 25 miles total paddling. Matt went a little longer than Nick and I did, so that's a little bit higher, but fortunately the rain held off all day today. Um, but it looks like we're gonna get some here soon because you can see all those clouds. It's, it doesn't look good for us tonight. Portage 7 of 12 right now. Long day. Pretty solid though. Portage 9 or 10 of I don't know how many. Probably make it, make it to Basswood by like these. Down to Rock and Walking the River. Woo! <laughs> Six in the Boundary Waters, Man Trip 2020. <sighs> Long day of traveling. <laughs> no lead changes. Um, we finally got to our spot though. We went 34 miles. Um, but yeah, it was a long day of traveling. But we're just trying to get out now. It's kind of the. We'll hopefully be out tomorrow. So. Day seven and final day of the Boundary Waters, uh, Man Trip 2020. Uh, we just traveled pretty much uh, all day, um, and we got to fish a little bit this morning, um, but no one, there was no lead changes today. So Nick is our Man Trip 2020 champion. Congrats with your 28 or 38 inch you. Hog Northern. Yeah. Congrats. And per tradition, um, we are doing our reflection which is the high and low point of the trip and two things you're looking forward to about regular life. So we do this oldest to youngest. So Matt is our first person. Congratulations to Nick first of all. He took away my three feet. <laughs> I was the two time in a row defending champion. Mm -hmm. A little bitter. It'll happen again though. Uh, high point was slaying walleyes on uh, Crooked. Crooked Lake. 
And the low point was having terrible sunburn on the back of my hands. You'd never think of it, but terrible sunburn. <laughs> what I'm looking forward to the most is eating decent food again, not freeze dried. <laughs> Seeing Harper, Toby, and Sarah. And what else do I got? You got that's that's it. That's it. Yeah, just too hot. Congrats to Nick. Congrats, Nick. All right, Sam. All right, congrats to Nick as well. Uh, ending a dynasty. <laughs> um, high point was uh, catching a personal best northern uh, and walleye and bass, which was pretty crazy. And just, I guess, just the uh, uh, Crooked Lake fishing in general was that was the craziest day of fishing ever. 30, what was it 35 walleye, something like that, in a day and a half, probably between all. Uh, low point was the trip out minimal fishing in like probably 15, 16 hours of a day and a half of, uh, of travel. Um, looking forward to wings and normal bed. Hey, Nick. My uh, low point was <laughs> trying to power clean the canoe first day or two and hurting my back. Feels pretty good now because I am the winner. That was my high point. <laughs> The 38 inch northern, which is my largest fish, you know, reluctantly. And my other largest was a 19 and a quarter smallmouth, it's a hog. Um, and I am looking forward to a zebra cake here, but then eating balanced meals with Sasuke at home. <laughs> That's a good, good answer. Okay. I, my high point was probably catching a, probably my biggest northern I've ever had, 36 inch northern, and also netting Nick's champion 38 inch northern, that was awesome and super fun to be a part of. Um, so again, congrats Nick on the victory. Uh, my low point was uh, being at the lower Basswood Falls. I lost about five jigs right after, one after another, trying to catch some walleye there. Um, had end up ended up having to respool my my reel. It was a I, I just was done with fishing that day, and I was, I was it was frustrating. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing my puppy Jada again, and a warm shower here pretty soon at the Outfitter. So looking forward to that. So that's it from us and the Boundary Waters 2020. All right, I am back in our hometown of Cambridge, Minnesota, and I just wanted to take a second to thank our oldest brother, Matt. Um, he is kind of the reason this entire man trip thing started. It was his idea originally, and um, he's kind of the reason uh, we survive each year. <laughs> I just wanted to take a second uh, to appreciate that, and um, it's kind of easy because we get to just kind of be along for the ride. Thank you, Matt, for making this happen every year. It's kind of the highlight of my year. So thank you so much. And uh, that's it for this one. See you next time. Your Almost attention. there. Who need my what? You're gonna need your attention. <laughs> so I need to put the camera away is what you're saying, Nick. Yeah. Okay.